Before we have a chat with uh, James, these days he does a lot of writing for another champion New Zealander, Chris Waller. And Chris spent a little bit of time thinking about tonight. Good evening everybody. What a great event this is. Uh, and being into the Hall of Fame is something extremely special and I certainly know this recipient will be very proud. Uh, I'm certainly uh, proud to be sponsoring the induction and there's no more worthy recipient than James McDonald. James is a tireless worker and for his age what he's achieved in such a short time is quite remarkable. He's got the respect of his peers, he's got the respects of investors in the industry and he's got the respect of obviously so many people and what's an amazing, amazing industry and I certainly think that James will not only be proud of this award but he'll certainly um, carry it with him with honour uh, as it should be and he'll certainly be around for a lot longer and riding a lot of winners. I've been lucky enough to be able to work with him firsthand and I can certainly say he's a, he's a, um, a meticulous person, he looks after obviously his health, uh, he respects the horses that he rides, he's a great horseman and well what he's achieved and what he's going to achieve is very special. Well done James. That bloke's a special man in your life today, James. Yeah, he's a Beaker supporter. Um, can't really do too much without him, to be fair, but he's, um, he's, he's been a wonderful mentor as well as many trainers back home. James, you know, when you came back, everybody knows that you're riding better than ever. It was people like Chris Waller that gave you the support that you were looking for. Yeah, well, he's um, been dominating Sydney for so long, or Australia for so long, and being a fellow Kiwi, I suppose he... He felt obligated to help me out a little bit, even though we've probably um, haven't um, ridden every horse so good. But um, we've had some wonderful, wonderful moments together, and um, hopefully many more. But we've been so lucky with the champion sprinter that we've associated with, with the champion stayer, and yeah, he's just a, he's just a, a champion bloke who's who just um, yeah wears his heart on his sleeve and gives me every opportunity. Before we have a look back on your career, let's just sort of talk about what's happening right now. I mean, just the other day, 100 wins for the season in New South Wales. That's three times you've done that. Uh, so is Darren Bieber and so is Larry Cassidy. Uh, they're pretty big uh, shoes to fill in themselves, aren't they, really? But uh, you're riding the crest of the wave at the moment. Yeah, we're having a good run, but <laughs> like that man there and... John O'Shea, who's who's been a massive supporter of mine since I moved over, and he was probably the one that got me to ship up and move over, and he he gave us all his back, even when owners probably weren't so confident in that particular time, and um, he he was a he was a rock to me, and um, yeah, so at the moment we're reaping the awards, but uh, it's um, fast horses definitely help that. Fastest um, jockey to ride fifty Group Ones too, and a. Uh uh, in a season, I mean, that's a, a pretty pretty special thing to have on your CV as well, my friend. Yeah, no, it's it's amazing, but yeah, it's um, yeah, just just the people that help me. Well, I'm going to pick up something that Linda said before too, because I'll I'll go back a long, long time with Linda as a tour lead on the Melbourne Cup. Linda and I we used to do this tour a lot, and uh, she actually basically said this, and she did say it tonight too with Steve. She talked about the fact that there was this young fellow who was riding horses around the place, probably a cow or two as well, at the stable. And uh, he's about 11 or 12, but uh, trust me, he's going to be a very, very good jockey. And I said, to, I remember saying this to Linda, th these sorts of things you never forget. I remember saying to Linda, how good? This kid's got the X factor, dears, you watch. And, um, and she was proven right. And Linda and Alan, uh, they started the ball rolling for you in some way, didn't they? Yeah, I learned, learned on their horses. Of, um, I actually fell off one of his good ones in Linksky and never got back on it in that end. But... Uh, uh, he, he was he was a big supporter and um, he, he he used to love his grass and we used to gallop our ponies up there not that he knew and one day he caught us and chased us off with a tractor me and my brother so we had wonderful times and um, tr tr he he always wanted it, well at that particular time wanted um, there was a pony race up at Ellerslie back then and we <laughs> used to try and find the smallest racehorse but never could find one small enough and the one got close by Lake Conniscent but that was about it. 
What about some of the jockeys we uh, you rode against in New Zealand, guys that you looked up to? I mean, I read some something recently that um, you yourself um, honoured, so honoured to be inducted in the Hall of Fame alongside these great names like Shane Dye, Lance O'Sullivan, and James and Jimmy Cassidy and the like. Are they the sort of jockeys that became role models for you? Yeah, for sure. I was um, first time I ever met Lance, who was was at the sales, and I was too scared to go up and see him and. Um, all I wanted to be is a dairy farmer, and um, I just wanted to know what, how he become a, how he bought his first farm, and what age was it? And it's 19, and I'm still trying to buy my first one, so I'm struggling a bit, Lani. But um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been amazing, especially Di, Di, uh, Shane Dye, who's um, he was the king back back then, and you just look up to those guys for sure. I used to have pictures on their wall, Lance and Shane and Darren Beeman, so it's quite amazing. Well, you've ridden so many winners this season, as we, just, well, as we all know, but $17 million in stake money, you can probably afford to buy a better place in Double double Bay or Vaucluse or one of those sorts of places in Sydney right now. Have you? I suppose you've got a good property, have you? <laughs> yeah, Batling Way. Batling Way. <laughs> tell, tell us what this really means to you, being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Oh, it's uh, just amazing. I never, never thought it would come. James, I don't think any words are needed. Emotion says it all. You're, you're a humble person, and I know you've got something else to say. I just want to thank my mum and dad, and Sir Peter Bella, who um, has been amazing through um, the dark times, and obviously when I got in trouble, and, um, and we've enjoyed so much success with it together, so thank you so much. We love you, mate. We love you. Come this way, Bruce, Bruce, if you bring James, James, just come back this way, take a photo opportunity, photo opportunity with Bruce there. <laughs> twins, twins. <laughs> <laughs>